Hello, and welcome to our first look at Timberborn. They are putting out update number five right now, Bad Water. I have always wanted to hop into this game. It is a city management eco restoration game where you play as a group of beavers, I guess a tribe of beavers. What's a group of beavers called? Brand new. I've never taken a look at it before. I want to know all about it. We have the folk tales, easygoing but hardworking. Folk tales, expert farmers that respect nature and rewards them with plentiful bounties, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. And the iron teeth, deflectors of traditional timber ways, mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. Their motto: work hard, work hard. Well, I can only play as one, which is nice. I feel like we should probably go beginner friendly. Lakes or plains? Let's go plains. We have like a smaller starting area, but more to expand out towards. I like it. Let's play on normal since we're giving it a shot and I have no idea how to play. We'll give the basic intro experience, as if this is your first time playing and you want to see what the game is all about. This tutorial will help you with the basics. I love the vibe. God, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. I guess I might as well let these guys cut all that as well. Beavers need water to survive. Can I sneak it here among the bushes? Seems like a cute little spot for it. Nice cozy little spot. Oh, I'm really going to have to... <laughs> Efficiency is not going to be our forte today. <laughs> that road, I know it's it's something special. They're really taking their time to get down here. Friend asked me once, Vilka ad durmast skandernover? I said, that's Norway. I'm going to answer that question. Oh, there's Norway. I'm going to answer that question. Ay, 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 yo. What's going on here? How come we're not building this? Is it because everybody's sleeping? Oh, it is. Oh, man. We got to build these beavers some homes. Are beavers okay to just sleep on the dirt like this? Oh, they're so cute. Do you know why the vampire moved to Scandinavia? He had a sweet tooth. In addition to water, beavers also need food to build a gatherer flag near some blueberry bushes. My dudes, I can do that. No problem. Easy. Settlement needs a stable food source. Build a farmhouse to plant and harvest crops. I'd like to plant the farmhouse maybe up here. Keep the waterways like for water building. Like many other buildings, it has a limited range, which still seems like a lot. John Hag. <laughs> That's a good name for a beaver. Your little beaver homies. I build one of these warehouses as well, perhaps for food. This is kind of looking like I'm going to run out of trees. Sleeping in the carrot fields. Life ain't so tough for a beaver. Seems like it's a pretty good life. Living on this quaint little farm. We got carrots. We got water. We got logs. What more do you need, really? Construction lacks materials. What are you doing, man? You look like you're just sitting there. I need somebody to move the logs. Oh, no. I just need people to chop down the logs. I thought these were full and they were just like sitting around because of that. They're just lazy beavers. These, uh, these beavers, they don't work too hard. <laughs> That's for sure. They want to work, but not that hard. Oh, we got to get into building a housing district. I need six. I'm going to do something that I never do, which is just build a block of houses. I feel like I need like more tree cutters. You know what? I actually just think I need more more beavers. This is the problem right now. I think we don't have a lot of beavers. Your beavers are happier than ever. You've achieved a new well-being high score. Your beavers are happier than ever. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Get them a few more houses and we'll really be on track. Drought approaching. Uh-oh. Three days. Well, we got lots of water. All right. I'm going to try planning a path out here and seeing if that maybe is these guys to hustle and or bustle. I kind of just think maybe I need another lumberjack flag. Now we just got three lumberjacks and none of them are working. They were all just sitting around doing nothing. Je ne comprends pas. I need logs. Why aren't they getting logs for me? Oh, I'm I am an idiot is is actually the answer it's a very clear answer and the answer is i'm an idiot <laughs> watch them go they're gonna like they're gonna destroy this forest come sunrise science points are used to unlock more advanced buildings an inventor will make more science points only beavers are allowed in this workplace i wasn't aware that there were other i'm gonna start building not in perfect grids just to drive everybody crazy a lot of my beavers appear to be growing up which is nice we can now put our producing more advanced resources, but some buildings require power to do so. All right, well, feels like water is always probably gonna be down this way. It's time to start producing planks. Build a lumber mill and connect it to the water wheel with the power shaft. Uh, what does a power shaft look like? The drought has begun. I hope I got enough water. Where does our water come from? I guess it came from up here. Ruh row, ruh row, ruh row. So I guess I am gonna run out of water. Oh no. All the land is becoming arid. We need a stable source of logs unlock the forester and build it in a place where you want to plant trees unlock for 60 science not enough science points this guy makes one science points an hour possibly more once he has power i, I think i might need some of these power wheels that's the entrance okay so what if we did that and that uh, i'm also going to get rid of this how do i make more farmland plant trees and bushes plant crops carrots i mean everything's going to die for the next 1.7 days anyway but um you know uh, i'm worried about the 
does. So it looks like each of these lasts me about a day, which is definitely making me be like, let's make more of these. Now they're cooking. Get a little beaver power going here. Work in the wheel mines. I love how everything is just made of logs. <laughs> like even these are just like logs kept together with more logs. Wow, we have a lot of carrots in the old carrot warehouse. Not a lot of logs in the old log warehouse though. Forester plants, bushes, and trees. I guess I'm just going to put this guy here. It seems like a reasonable place for him to be. And then we will dedicate this to the forest zone. Drought ended. Cycle two begins. Yay. Here comes the water and all the beautiful green that comes with it. This is a great effect. Love it. Love it. Love it. We got extra storage for the next drought because it does look like we just ran out. Homies, if you need water, go work the water pump. Blame Ate. She's right here. She could be working at the water pump right now, but she ain't doing it. You can now plant trees. Choose the plant and trees and bushes to plant some pines. Similar to crops, trees need to be watered in order to grow. Remember to mark them for cutting. Your settlement is now self-sufficient as long as the water keeps flowing. You say that and we just had a drought. Consider building a dam or placing more tanks to help your beavers survive the droughts. The tutorial showed you the basics, but there's more you can discover on your own. Oh my God, that's it. And now we're, we're free to do as we please. Can I demolish this so we can get some more water? Ooh, this is bad water. Why do we have to clean up the who man's mess? Oh, right. They're all dead. There's also bad water coming up from here. Grat metal ruins. This would be a good place to dam some water in. What do we have in, in terms of terraforming? Blocks water, but allows some to pass through a spillway on top. I see. Let's try that out. I'm obviously concerned over the fact that like everybody's thirsty. So I'm thinking maybe I build another one of these guys. Uh, and clearly we are having a water issue right now. So what do these need? Logs. 20 logs. You know what? That's way too expensive. I do not have that kind of lumber right now. We're doing okay on berries. We're not doing so good on carrots. Seems like we must have eaten a lot. What happened? Injury refuses to work. How did he get injured? And how do I fix injure? Well-being. Rooftop terrace. Campfire. Teeth grindstone used to sharpen broken teeth let's build one of those give our beavers some some good living all right i think i've queued up more than enough things let's let them let's let them vibe there's a natural steer in the gray area oh you're right then we can cut all of these trees that ought to fix things for us a little bit and we'll expand the crop field a little bit more too they seem to be doing pretty well with this amount of carrots what's wrong here center isn't connected to any district centers by path see damn that's cold as ice i need to also unlock platforms now if I want to build anything else. At least things are going okay. Hey, look at this. Place for beavers to relax and socialize in the evening. Hey, and our dam is up and running. Oh, cool. Other buildings can be built on top of dams. I want this dam to like let in more water. Is it like omnidirectional? Oh yeah, I think it is. I wanted this to like fill. I don't think we're there yet though. <laughs> Productivity 90%. Mechanical fluid pump. Uh, I'm kind of wondering, is it possible to hook electricity up to things like these pumps? Doesn't look like it though. We'll have a bunch of trees come in here. I guess trees aren't really going to grow here because there's no water for them. We need to figure out how to like start terraforming uh, before we get to that phase. 600 for dynamite. Damn, Daniel. Like I want to know how to dig this out and it looks like dynamite is the only way to do it. Dynamite or like fluid dump. Yeah, I guess if you built a fluid dump, you could like put put one here and have this spew out water and then maybe you could even like build this up higher and make like a big big reservoir the music is great isn't it the music is like spot on it's the perfect vibes how do i make them make more babies <laughs> mud bath 1.2 thousand science how do i get more science beavers gain more knowledge about the world they live in a thousand science for an observatory all right we're like slowly catching up on builders and stuff right now i'm gonna end up building this here and then i'm just gonna have a weird set of pathways that lead me there drought approaching drought approaching we got six barrels of water i feel good about it i think i feel good about it i think i'm gonna need more inventors like possibly even like a whole invention district seeing how long it takes to like unlock 100 points hooray let the walled city begin oh that's interesting <laughs> you actually have to build them little paths on the roofs as well i like that that's cute these poor people man are just like great now now everybody walks over our house every day to get to the bar, go drink at the rooftop patio. This poor dude's like, I no longer get sunlight in my home. Your beavers are happier than ever. My reservoir is empty. You are correct. I'm not clear why. It's a dam, not a gate. Yeah, I think it probably means only if I flood will this get destroyed. Will this actually work? So I think we can get rid of it for now. And I guess that will water those carrots and stuff again, probably. All I want to think about right now is like, how do we get places like this filled up and start like another colony here that also has access to this water? I suppose we can build stairs anywhere we want. So if we want to do things like build on the mountainside, we can. Ooh, 
underground ruin. Some kind of cool stuff over here. Like if I could blow a hole in this, this would all flood over to here. I also suppose if I was to do something like build floodgates and levees, I could just find ways to like flood zones. Like if I built levees here or dams here and then flooded this, you know, it would all come up here. This whole section would go underwater, but I have 200 logs. Let's start building these. I'm out of water. Daniel, this medium tank holds 300 compared to 30. I am just making it on this right now. That ought to survive us a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So as long as this is, wow, look, this is like all the way up right now. This is like really deep water. And I bet as we build this dam, it will actually get significantly better. Ah, okay. So you actually get to build like entirely different bases almost like entirely different towns ah uh, they also take like four population though can we get science somehow we've got a little bit of science we've got a baby bit of science we do need to make more beaver science though you wait wrong we do need some more science all right we got lots of water storage now in preparation for the next drought uh, we could also consider planting some blueberry bushes and trees over here for more long-term food survival okay now we're now we're making science. Now we're getting brains. That ought to help those little dweebs and these little dweebs. Yeah, I was kind of thinking if we put a forester over here, I could really fill out these blueberries. And food is starting to make me some concern. It covers a lot of ground. Let's do it. Building lacks power. Why is my water wheel not running? Cool, I think. I think the dams, I could be wrong about this, but I think the dams are causing the flow of water to just go through this tiny gap. So it's no longer hitting the water wheel. I mean, once we just build the rest of these dams, we should be fine. Yeah, you can, you can actually see it. Like the, um, the path of water has changed. That's so funny. I mean, it's super cool. Think about building some more water wheels over here power output 11 12 okay so it's starting to work out with those new changes how do you know how much power input 12 out of 50 oh and it all works better if you have more power oh we need more power uh we could put water wheels along this probably pretty easy to be honest and then maybe just uh pop 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 a little something like this feels like maybe not the most efficient way to go about it but i'm gonna do it anyway uh one really nice thing about these dams is they are also going to give me access to the other side of this and they are really like raising the water level in this zone by quite a lot too i might have to do something like build dams out from this from this cliff face in order to force the water to kind of like shoot around the edge here Oh, this forestry is done. So we can plant more stuff. This is my old growth forest. And then I can blueberry it like crazy. And I can also blueberry down here in other big chunks. All right. Well, the builders have lots to do. The dam is running and my water wheel really is a bust. But I guess, I don't know, maybe once these ones are online, we can turn that one off. So gates. Yeah, we do need floodgates. We have enough signs to get them now. Now, can you walk over a floodgate? That's a great question. No, but I could build like a little secondary system here. Then I could build a floodgate here and I could just close that floodgate when the drought is coming and make sure that we have lots of juice. A lot of buildings lack workers. Oh, these are job vacancies, not beaver vacancies. So the answer is actually, I just need more beavers. Triple Lodge fix nine beavers. That house is a lot of beavers. Let's go big, baby. We're going industrial already. No time to wait around. Oh, cool. One of my water wheels is working. The other one, not so much. So I do think if we build a little platform and dam system, maybe, and then we dam that section, dam that section too. Dam them all. That should hopefully push more of the water over towards my wheels. Drought approaching. Well, suddenly this becomes a lot more serious priority. Got 0 0.6 days. Come on. I need five planks. Functionally plugs it. I guess it doesn't really plug it. The key would really be putting all of these floodgates in front front of the dam barrier. I don't know how the drought is really going to work. In theory, I guess everything past this point should stay filled because it's like a lower level. We are full dam. Damned if we do and damned if we don't. Ah, yeah. Look, we dammed it up all the way. Ooh, interesting. The bad water didn't really go down all the way. Oh, no, there it goes. But we've actually managed to keep a small reservoir of water here. Not quite enough to keep everything alive, but enough to keep our crops alive and most of our trees. And 
this entire other side as well. So if we want to start building stuff over here, we absolutely could. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. Uh, and hopefully now when the drought is fixed, these dams will actually work and push everything over here in through these water wheels. And my hope is basically I can lower this floodgate and it will maybe cause the water to go through that. My very confused water system. Everybody has grown up. Every job is being worked. We are at peak beaverdom. Here comes the rain. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess now that I have access to platforms and staircases as well, I can build anywhere I want, theoretically. I want to get this working. Now, we're actually producing pretty good science, enough that I could make dynamite very soon. So I could build a bunch of levees around the edge of this. Oh, I guess it's only ever going to fill to river level, though. So I'm probably better off just yeeting the dynamite in there, if that's the case. And I'm hoping that will give me like all this area. Hot damn, my water meals worked. That one didn't, but these ones are working. One of them is working, I should say. I guess maybe it makes sense that the second one wouldn't get as much power because the first wind water wheel would like take it all. I'm learning a lot about water physics today. <laughs> Probably could have built that a little smarter. Do a whole row of them. Well, look, I'm not really worried about it. We're, we're putting out way more than anybody needs right now. So this one is definitely not working, but I have five unemployed beavers. Okay, if that's the case, let's do it. Let's start a new district. That's going to be the plan. It needs, let's put five guys over here. They're going to need all sorts of stuff. Get them going. So I think what we'll do is we'll do trees over here, blueberry bushes here, and then farmland on this side. Especially because once I get rid of this, this should all fill back in. We're also obviously going to need some water and dynamite. Dynamite costs dynamite to build. Oh, that's kind of dumb. I mean, it makes sense, but if that's the case, please lock it behind Explosives Factory. That was so expensive. That'll keep those little be beavers busy as we got our second town starting up. Uh, I suppose we're going to end up having to dam this lower level as well. Ooh, I'm a little curious how that's going to work. Because if we dam this, is it going to mean that there's no water that comes down to the lower level? Or is it just going to create like two separate reservoirs? Oh, wow. Also, my beaver population is I'm now seeing starting to explode. Yeah, I'm, I'm wildly, I'm getting wildly concerned about about, uh, even these guys appear to be running out of water supplies right now. So these guys got lots of water pumps. Uh, I'm about to get the better storage vat for 120. Feels good. Uh, I do feel like we probably need to deal with some of like the housing crisis that we also have going because we also have a housing crisis here. So once we get housing and everything here, this place should start coming online pretty decently. It's a good setup for a town. I like its vibe. Ah, and of course the forester actually needs planks, which means I need a lumber mill here, which is also going to need a water wheel. Boy, if she don't add up fast. Let's try it like that. And so we wait. They're putting in good work here. They're just taking their time. Ah, because I don't have planks. I did not think this through. I bet that also needs planks and gears. How do I make gears? And in the meantime, can I please build some small tanks? What makes gears? Metalworking? Gear workshop. Manufacture gears from planks. <laughs> the industry grows. The industry grows to meet the needs of the growing industry. Uh, so they're also going to need gears over here, I guess that means. Some sort of gears of war. These poor dudes are going to die in the incoming drought, though. And I reckon there ain't going to be a lot for me to do about it. We definitely don't have the logs over here right now for them to be doing any dam building. 1.8 days. I don't know how much water we need per beaver. We can figure it out. It don't feel very likely. <laughs> wow, this is getting chewed down super fast, though. These beavers work hard. They play hard. So these guys might have a pretty rough dry season. It ain't looking great for them. But they got lots of berries, some water. Here comes the drought. Building needs power to operate. Where is your input? Oh, no. Okay. Anywhere is the answer. So if I was to say destroy that and then put in this guy, it looks like that'll give it the juice when everybody wakes up in the morning. <laughs> My biggest problem with these beavers is that they have to sleep all the time. All they want to do is hang out at the campfire and, and lounge at the roof, rooftop bar. I could give them a second one of these, but I don't really know how much they need it. Ah, okay. So the more types of food we have also, the better. People want more campfires and they want more rooftop terraces. Noted. Not appreciated, but noted. All right. The gear workshop is up and running. Now we make gears. We got one day of the drought left. Feeling okay about it. These beavers are like vibing. A district crossing balance is good between the two connected districts. Each side has its own workers that distributes goods between the district crossing and the rest of the district. So that's going to be really cool. Once I get like all of this built, I'll be able to build up this way and then I can build a district crossing like right here and these guys can connect between the two of them. And then if I'm smart, I could clean this bad water and I could have a third 
district up here. And this could be the district crossing between all three sections, which would be cool. The water wheel is up. The power shaft is up. Here comes the water just in time. Hell yeah. Now we got planks. Dude, I have 17 unemployed beavers over here. Get some jobs. So let's just grab a handful more out of there. That ought to solve the problem. Now everybody's got a job. That ought to keep these dweebs busy. One of my big issues here is we're cutting down all these trees, but we're not replacing any of them because we don't have planks. And we don't have planks. Well, we're one plank off the forestry building being done. Okay, so... Okay, so we've get, we're have we making gears now. We've teched up into gears, which means we can start building giant super tanks, uh, which also means we can start trashing some of this stuff as we spend all of our super tanks, all of our gears on building more super tanks. We've just been picking away, building some things, trying to get ready for dynamite. Ooh, actually makes explosives from bad water so this needs it says radioactivity three hours so my real question ends up becoming we got bad water over here i could probably do that i need to figure out how to get radioactivity to make explosives oh we finally have a forestry person though so at least we're uh we're planting new trees and we're planting new blueberries just very good because that's getting desperately low i'm 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 discovering how deep this game is and really how many pieces there are i need metal blocks for an explosive factory which means i need a scavenger flag and a smelter and then i need ruins which are not particularly close by are some up here those are probably the closest god damn all right so i'm literally gonna need to build platforms and then some sort of insane path districts must be separated by a district crossing the more you know i need 600 points for a district crossing okay well it'll help once we get it all right we're we're like one day away from getting carrots so everyone's gonna get fed here pretty soon yes okay the carrots are in we're no longer starving to death awesome everyone has eaten we have solved the immediate at food problem. I like the idea of putting a district crossing in here and 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 having our supplies shared. It certainly feels like it's probably the right thing to do. As we've expanded, I am no longer certain that we have the water storage over here. Uh, let's put this stuff on top priority. At least two of them. Uh. I'm not getting any logs. I have no logs and I'm not getting any logs until these logs all grow up. Das ist und problem. Here comes the drought. Do -do -do -do. I think I'm gonna have a real problem with water. Feels extremely unlikely to me that two tanks are going to last 15 beavers. Can't get all the required materials. You could though, if you would gather that rubble, your problem would be solved. All you need to do is gather the rubble though, which I don't think you're going to do. 35 unemployed beavers. One of these days. I'm gonna like run out of water and food in this colony right now. These guys are thriving. Except this one guy who is hungry for some reason. There we go. He solved it. The reason you are hungry is because we don't have enough food. I do not love it. Okay, there is a big starvation problem happening. I could put another farmhouse in to cover these crops pretty easy. So we could pick all those carrots because it seems like the three of these guys are not able to actually get all these carrots sorted in time. And we are collecting scrap metal finally. Starvation everywhere we look. No water everywhere we look. Uh row uh row indeed. District crossing. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Maybe good little roadhouse. I am shocked that this district is able to get that far, but boy, I'm, I'm not going to, you're not going to hear me complain. Yeah, this looks bad. Two days, no water. Ugh, these guys got it tough right now. Beaver will die soon. I assume this has to get to like zero thirst before beaver will die. <laughs> like one district's going really well. The other district is just like an absolute unmitigated disaster. Yay! The district crossing is up, which I think is supplying food and water. Can I put more workers on this? I sure can. Drought ended. Cycle six begins. Oh, amazing. Okay. So everything that these guys need now, they can get from the main city. I want to create a massive reservoir right here this is my big goal is if i can get enough dynamite i can blow a path open and flood this reservoir and that's what i want what i really really want and i think i think all i need is a smelter the explosive factory says it uses bad water but it's not clear to me how that works like it says it turns five radioactive which i think is the symbol for bad water into one dynamite bad water rig Oh my God, is this the only way to make to make it with 4,000 science? There's gotta be another way to do it. I refuse to believe that is the only way to make dynamite 
Please. Please don't be the only way. You guys got all sorts of stuff. Do you have enough to make a smelter? You do. All the metal currently comes from up here. So how much is a windmill? 120? All right, windmills can go anywhere. So melter it is. Do you know two words that can hold a lot of water? No? Well, damn. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray for beaver jokes. Okay, so that's going to make metal blocks, which will then come down here into the explosives factory. Completing the chains. Yeah, this is wildly faster. I want them to own the entire reservoir. These guys just come up to shop. All right, and now this is cooking. Cooking with gas. Let's go, metal blocks. Your beavers are happier than ever, probably because they have grilled potatoes. They want more grilled potatoes. So this place went down last time. Like the drought actually drained this entire section of river. And this is only gonna fill so much i'd really like to build up around it but i think i would need like terrain blocks to do that which i probably need dirt excavators for yeah unless i did some like clever levy work but i'm not really sure how i would go about that there was some thought about blowing a hole in this it's up to down one down one down two. I think if I dynamited my way through here, it would flood this entire plane, which would be very interesting because this would be hit with a lot more water. A levee would do that job. Yeah. The problem is I, I would need um, a fluid dump, which I could build. Dump water into it manually. Oh yeah. Okay. That becomes a little bit trickier, but I guess I could just build a levee and then another levee there. Or I could build like a uh, platforms and then a levee on top of that. It's the big mega project. If I built it up even one more, I could get it even higher. I think my big question is, is can I build a levee on top of a levee? And the answer is yes. So now I have a goal set out. <laughs> now we got ourselves an unnecessarily complicated goal. It's going to be the, the like the reservoir for the whole district. Oh, I hope that can be built on top of that. We managed to get a uh, medium tank in place. We did not manage to fill it, but it's a start. This is going surprisingly well. The wall grows. Realizing I'm probably going to need to build platforms all along here as well. So this tree forest is going to get even smaller. But once this is built, I can also have trees up here. Yeah, it really feels like I am not keeping enough water. And I'm starting to wonder if perhaps the answer is more floodgates. And I do believe the answer to that is yes. Two wood, four. So I'm going to floodgate across this whole section. And then what I'll just do is I'll just have some of the floodgates at a lower number than the others. And I will see if maybe that lets me keep it. Uh, it at least seems though, with all the water and everything else, I guess that's the thing is like, I wouldn't run out of water if I had less water pumps, but I could also just store the water at a higher level via floodgates and I'd be fine. These all just take logs. So you know what? I'm going to make a builder's hut. I'm trying to build a, uh, a a mega project here kind of feels like a builder's hut is probably the way to go yeah there goes my water here all pumped out got maybe a little bit longer to live here i'm at 22 out of 30 metal blocks for dynamite i love how much effort i've put into this dynamite and now i'm like wait a minute i could just do this <laughs> imagine if i spent all the technology i spent trying to make dynamite just like getting better floodgates i could have done some crazy stuff i could have done like level three floodgates here and then just like flooded this whole valley we would have had like an infinite supply of water this is working though time consuming but it's working beaver dome wasn't built in a day legend says it was six hours Hours. Let them have their fun. I'm just going to turn these up on priority a little bit because I'd like this to get finished so we can swap out that staircase. Got loads of wood. Most of this levee is done. Almost on those stairs. So this guy should start bringing up buckets of water and pumping it into here. And we can take two levels of that before it starts becoming a problem. So we'll see how that works. <laughs> but this will be a massive reservoir if I can get it to work. We're not taking anything out of here. So it seems like you only lose water if you pump it out is a bit of the vibe I'm getting. So my hope is that as long as I fill this, it can stay filled. Now I will be real. I don't know if that's the case. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh my goodness. Would you look at this? Bad water. Pumping out bad water so that I can cut a path directly across to here where I'm going to put a bad water pump and then a single small tank of storage. Which I might as well put there, which will store bad water. So this is going to work. All I need to do is gather bad water. The rest is easy. <laughs> and then hopefully this will slowly pump out water. We might want to build another one of these. It probably wouldn't hurt us. Game of beaver fever. Now, if I build a path on top of this, you can build it. Excellent. I'm a little worried they can't reach these ones, but it looks like they can. He's beginning to believe. So the real question gets to rapidly start becoming, who wants the dynamite? Because <laughs> I want the dynamite, but I don't know where to put it right now. 
This is almost done. They've got a very small section of the wall left to finish. I'm glad we built the pumps when we did. I want to see, like, as we fill this up, how far will it expand? I mean, if we really wanted to, I could easily just stick another one in here. Or two. The walls are built. We're now prepared to create a massive environmental catastrophe. Over here, the bad water is pumping. Looks like the bad water is going directly into the explosives factory. Aha! And look, life is coming back online. Oh, and we've got explosives. Where do explosives store? In a warehouse. So let's do the most reasonable thing here and make a giant explosives warehouse. And now, what do we explode? We've spent this long um, just trying to get dynamite. And my whole plan was to try and open up this levee or open up this water this to the to the river so we would have extra stuff. What's a bad tide? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. What's a bad tide? Uh, let's, let's, let's... Uh, 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 uh. Let's build some floodgates. This is definitely not going to work. These floodgates are not going to be big enough. But these floodgates would be... Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's build. Let's build a path. I don't even know if this makes sense. Do you think they're going to be able to build that? I am not convinced they will be. I probably should have unlocked the higher level platforms. I guess we'll find out. Oh, well, that's not going to connect. Uh, let's figure this. Let's figure this. We could have done it like that. I don't know what level I need to be at to get up to here, but like, uh, this better go fast. Can I see what the new event will be? It just says bad tide approaching, which I'm assuming is something to do with bad water. My question is, is it bad water starts coming from here? Or is it like these geysers erupt and bad water starts coming from here and here? Either way, I'm in trouble. It comes from the main water source. Okay, <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> this is not going to work at all, is it? We build it up to there. And if I dynamite this, I mean, ultimately dynamite is what I want to do. Up, 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 up. Bup, 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 bup. Such a good music vibe. Could that work? <laughs> this is an insane scramble that I'm not going to be able to do in two days. Just getting this bridge made is going to be impossible to do in two days. Need a divert valve for that floodgate? Yeah. When we got the dynamite for it, we just got to be able to get there. Oh my God, these guys have so much work to do if they want to get this done. We have one day to do it. Mona, what are we going to do? I don't know about this. What do we think, Moan? What do we think of little, little beaver town? We happy to watch these little beavers? You're very cold today what were you next to that's made you so cold this time yes next time you'll be prepared lots of death lots of crop death yeah i think so she's like i don't know what's going on i, I don't i don't care anymore <laughs> she's living her truth getting fur all over me cute little kitty this is mona she's one of the two mona comes in generally every day to say hi on stream cindy's a bit more of a rarity i'm actually like not great on water here probably because i'm filling a reservoir though i don't think i'm gonna make it to this in time even if i did blow this up without the mega floodgates i'd rather have them work on these um stairs and make our way to the dynamite i think insane contraption i have here i could have it maybe like flood out this way somehow my big issue with this is if i do it it's also gonna screw with the main water supply poop tide started incoming Big poop. May your river always flow. Here comes the poop. Is it possible that this water will stay untainted? Mm, doesn't look very likely. Oh my God. We're already like so low on water in all these spots because of the damn pumps. Uh, I better put all these on pause. And I actually probably should have done that before this happened. The world is poo poo. Do do caca. Everywhere we go. The rivers run full of sewage. Our plants die. Our trees die. Our food supply rapidly deplenishes. The world is not but poop. I guess if I had built a dam or a floodgate right here, I could have kept this pure. Clearly, that would have been the way to do this. I could have kept this. If I had actually just prioritized these, I could have kept all of this safe from bad water. I made a dummy. The reservoir is safe. I am very worried about how much water we have, though. Ooh, okay. Suffer the bad tide. 119 water left. Crazy amount of explosives, though. We got more TNT than we know what to do with. I am ready for Boomtown. Let me tell you, we're going to do some work over here. Going to take a big, big pit over here. Yeah, the worst part about this is that all of my food is going to die. And we are eating a lot of food right now. And it's all going to have to start brand new, fresh from zero. That's my big scare. Cycle eight. Okay, the land does at least heal. 
where it starts to heal. Oh, it's going to take so long for this to drain, probably. Same with this. That is rough. It took a long time for this to fill. It's also going to take a long time for it to drain. At least we know what that event's all about. And if people would start working, then everybody could stop being so thirsty. If only. Okay. And our new dynamite path is ready. Yeah, I really should have rushed these floodgates. That was my biggest mistake. You guys are cruising, working away. I'm very excited about this project. All of these blueberries are died. Are, are died. Are dead. <laughs> I am completely out of food, homies. Carrots are coming up at 80%. I don't know. I don't know. We might death spiral from this. Honestly, we might death spiral from this. We're getting like the smallest amounts of water and food in, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Guy's picking blueberries as fast as he can. There's no blueberries to even pick over here. Dang, is this hard to say. Dynamite. My dynamites are ready. Or at least some of them are ready. If they would just work at the water pumps for longer, they might be able to catch up. But I feel like we're just in such a backlog of thirst right now. We are starting to have people die of thirst. Not many, but a few. Fever is contaminated. Yeah, that'll pass. Don't worry about it. Little poop water in the lungs never hurt anybody. I feel like it's it's climbing. <laughs> I feel like my Food and water is managing to stay just above zero, at least during the daytime. Died of thirst, died of thirst, died of thirst. I mean, look, if a bunch of them die, it means we have less of a strain on the system. Oh man, we should not have pumped so much water into this. If I had it, if I had just shut off these pumps sooner, like the moment the bad tide was announced, uh, we would have actually probably been fine. I think I would have had enough water to get us through. But all my reservoirs were at like 50% when the bad tide happened. And it is causing problems. They haven't even like replanted half of these blueberry bushes. Every night we go to bed and our water goes down to zero. I think unless I find a way to pump some water, I'm uh, I'm done. So let's see if we can't get a couple more of these bad boys online. Little extra water never hurt nobody. This is how you say the big oof. I feel like we're going to stabilize as the population goes down. And as the new water pumps come up, oh my God, put people on the water pumps for the love of God. Is this why we have no water? Because nobody is working on the water pumps? Get it pumping, baby. The panic. <gasps> we ready for a dynamite? It's not going to crack all the way yet, but I'm excited to see what it looks like and how the next road goes. We got to do deeper. And in fact, we might have to do even deeper still. I just want to crack into this. This is my goal. We've built the cistern, even if we can't maintain it. So many dying beavers. Lots of more dynamite, though. It begins. The river diverts, is breathed into the land ever so slowly, but step by step. Let's let this fill up. It's a nice natural, natural boom boom, because so many people have died. Ooh. I don't know. It feels kind of like a death spiral. <laughs> oh, good. And a drought doth approach. Whoa. Oh, sick. This valley actually flooded enough that it's rejoining with this lower section. Oh, that's very cool. That ended up with way more water than I thought. This is like room to build a whole colony over here, especially with the underground ruins. Water's packed up to 200. Food is coming along. Got work to do. And I'm pleased. This will fill up in due time, but there's lots of little things to do. I think this is a great place to leave our first look. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for playing Timberborn Early Access. I had a lot of fun with this. This was a cute little game.